talk to you about um, the course offerings at Park Hill South for the art department. Um, we uh, begin students with an introductory course called Design and Drawing, um, where student, students explore all kinds of art media and topics. Um, this fulfills their fine art credit. And after this course, they can take all of our other uh, classes. Um, all of these classes, you can see other videos about here back at the the video page. So if you're curious about any of the other classes and what they look like in more detail, um, that'll be listed there. But just kind of a general discussion about, are you going to be a student who wants AP Studio credit? You want your display at the art fair? Or are you a student who's just looking for more fun art classes? And so we'll just kind of discuss those paths. If you had a blast in design and drawing, you enjoy the art department, you enjoy making things um, and being creative, doing creative problem solving, take some more of our art classes. Um, you can now, after having design and drawing, you can take ceramics, where you use clay and other media to create 3D forms, uh, including wheel thrown and hand built pottery. Um, you can take painting. We're going to use learn about acrylic and watercolor techniques uh, in a variety of subjects. Mixed media, which focuses on both fibers and printmaking techniques, uh, including screen print, weaving, mono printing, etc. Uh, you can also head towards graphic design where you're using um, digital and analog art uh, in design applications. There's a lot of Photoshop and Illustrator in that class, logos, branding, that type of thing. Um, and then we also encourage intermediate drawing. And that is a class that's kind of going to help you with everything. So if there was a second class you're going to take after design and drawing, I would recommend uh, intermediate drawing. And that class is all about drawing from life um, and learning the standard drawing tools and materials. And they just kind of help you be stronger at any of the other art classes we offer. Uh, and then you go on, continue to use art as a creative tool in your future. If you eat, sleep, and breathe art and you love, uh, love making things and it's just part of who you are, you find yourself making art um, on your own time at home. You have a space at home where you make art then we will hope that you'll head more towards our AP Studio um, track. And for that, after design and drawing, um, you need to be enrolled in intermediate drawing. And so if you're not getting intermediate drawing as a sophomore, then it's going to make your path a lot harder to get everything in. So if you're a serious stu art student, make sure you're talking to your counselor, uh, your parents, even those in the art department, um, just to make sure that you get that class as soon as you can. Again, focusing on life drawing, observation, um, and just giving you those core skills you need to be successful at all the other art classes. Before you can take AP Studio Art, you must take intermediate drawing and at least one other class to qualify for the prerequisites that you need to take AP Studio Art. Being a college level class, you know, you've got to have these skills and you have to have that kind of portfolio built up um, before the class starts so that you have um, some of the nuts and bolts that you need. So uh, after intermediate drawing, or if you're more 3D oriented, if you like painting, if you're curious about mixed media, if you know that you're a digital painter, a digital artist, take graphic design, um, but have at least one of these other classes, um, you can take it in succession with AP Studio Art, but ideally you'd have it be the year before uh, you take it. So in a way it's kind of Kind of like this, ideally, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year. Some students take AP Studio Art their junior year and actually like encourage that because then you already have a nice um, filled out portfolio before you start some of those early admission things. If you wait till senior year, it's just a little harder to get your portfolio together in time. Um, for scholarships and things like that. So if you know you're going to study art uh, in secondary, like in the college level, then, you know, trying to get two of these your sophomore year and then take AP your junior year isn't uh, a bad thing. It can actually be a good thing. But if you have any questions at all, my name is Meg Carson. I'm the AP art teacher here at Park Hill South. And you can email me at Meg Carson. 1978 at gmail.com. That's my personal email or my school email address, which is carsonm at parkhill.k12.mo.us. Um, but thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.